Hi, you all know that the abacus was invented even before the written numbers were? Well, I want to share with you the history of the abacus and how it came into practice. Hi, this is Sharada Sriram from Ideal Play Abacus. And today's topic is the history of the abacus tool. So abacus was first discovered in Mesopotamia around the year 2700 BC. After that, it has travelled to different countries all over the world. Some say the Romans used it and trained the Chinese in the use of the abacus tool in order to facilitate trade between China and Rome. Some others say that China evolved the latest version of abacus. So there are many theories. But what we know is that the abacus did travel to several countries and it was in use for many years in Russia, in Japan, in China, in Rome and so on. Subsequently, the Russians invented a 10-bead abacus. But before all that, let's see how the counting journey began. The first that we know that was used for counting are fingers and toes. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then they would count using toes. 11, 12 and so on. But as you can make out, this was very restrictive. Since there were limitations to count using fingers and toes, people then started using small objects like seashells. So they would count using the number of seashells. But this also was not enough. They invented something called the counting board, the image of which you see here. After the counting board came the abacus. Now the abacus travelled through different countries and different countries came up with different versions of the abacus. So Russia had a 10 bead abacus and uh, in China the, the abacus has 2 beads on top and 5 beads below. The latest uh, abacus which we all use, which most of the students and countries use for educational purposes is the one developed in Japan. This is called the Soroban, S-O-R-O-B-A-N and uh, this tool has 1 bead on top and 4 beads below. So this is really versatile and it really helps with our school system, you know, where 1 to 10 and all that, it really coincides with all that, which is why this Japanese model is very useful. Even today in countries like China and in Taiwan and several East Asian countries, abacus is widely used in place of a calculator. This is used as a manual calculator and even today when you go to some post offices or some business houses, you can see the abacus tool used for calculation. That is because the abacus and the brain can be faster than an electric calculator. Now in IPA, we use the abacus to train the children in mental maths. We've trained over 3 lakh students worldwide using this tool. And we have a systematic program on how to train the children using the abacus. They first use the tool manually and then it becomes a part of the brain where they do mental calculations by visualizing the tool. This is a time-tested uh, process which has been developed by our Malaysian trainer Mr. Stephen Tan who has over 40 years of experience in this industry. If you want to know more, please join our VIP Facebook page and also download our free booklet on how to focus better which is a useful tool for your children. The link is given below. Thank you.